Hey, you. Come no. here. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm getting to spend Thanksgiving with my guys. Ooh, which reminds me. I forgot the camera. Stay right here. Don't move. Don't nice. move. Nice. The camera. The camera. My favorite. Mom, how are things with you and Ted? They're okay. We're working everything out. I think things are going to be okay. Good. Oh, and another thing. Is there going to be a kitty table this year? <laughs> no. Joe bought the dining room table in the living room, added all the leaves. So everybody's going to sit there. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Hey, Joe. Hello, Hi. Hi. How are you, sweetheart? Good, thank you. Yeah. Surprise! Oh, oh. no. Oh. Stop with the oh. camera. You're yeah. not going to catch me with a mouthful of turkey again this year, are you? Yeah, fine. I'll wait for the pie. Oh. Oh, wait for your mom. Where is she, by the way? I'm... Oh, she'll be back in a second. She had to do all this work all by yourself. I had a very early call in the hospital. Yeah, Ma told us. Well, I'll tell you, the emergency room was in quite an uproar. I think it was probably food poisoning, but Ow. a lot of those folks seem to be acting drunk. You know, I'm going to go play some video games. Okay, you go ahead. I'll call you when dinner's ready. All right. How are you feeling? Mm, my stomach's still rocky. Mm -hmm. You know what it is yet? No, now they haven't finished the blood work. But I really am curious to know what's behind it all. Well, call me when they finish. I want to know. I had the worst dreams last well, night. You did? Yeah. What'd you dream about? Uh, nothing. I can't even remember. I, I, I just know I didn't like him. Uh, listen, I, uh, the guy with the firewood mm -hmm. stopped by for the season. How much do I owe you? Um, 85 bucks. 85. Ah, damn. Oh, now what? I forgot. I, uh, my wallet, I misplaced it. I couldn't find it anywhere this morning when I got up. I wouldn't worry about it. Just put it on your tab, which keeps on growing. <laughs> Did you search the house? Yeah, I searched everywhere. I searched the car. I searched the garage. I mean, it's a pain. I don't want to have to replace the credit cards. My mm -hmm. favorite picture of you in there is. So, isn't there? So, I, I think we should uh, get busy and, and take a new one, sweetie. Oh, Come on, what do you say, Dad? Get over there. Come on, torture oh. We should all look so good. Stop whining. Come here. Come on. Say good morning. Good morning. Excellent. <laughs> morning. Hey. Well, there's somebody who's not ready for a close-up. No pictures, Tad. Huh. Certainly hope Jillian's in a better mood than you are. Where is she? She's still asleep? I love you so much, Ryan. I love you too, Princess. Are you sleepy now? No. Are you? Because you can put your head right here and sleep if you want to. Oh, no. I never want to sleep again. I don't want to miss a single minute of being with you. I don't. This is... This is better than any dream that I could possibly ever imagine. Well, aren't you in the business of selling dreams? Yeah, I got a little carried away with work. Lately, I think I pretty much... pulled one too, one too many all-nighters this month. <laughs> I'll have to change that. You know why I was working so hard, don't you? Because I didn't want to face the fact mm. how empty my life was without you. You mean how lost we both were? Well, I, I'm going to make sure that you never, ever, ever have to feel lost again. Mm. And you know, all this hard work is going to pay off because... When my company goes public, I can buy you absolutely anything that you want. Mm -hmm. I'm so happy right now, Ryan. Mm. I still want to spoil you. I mean... <laughs> I don't know. I guess I just, um... I never felt that... I don't know, I was worthy of your love when we first met, so. All I want is you, Ryan. Well, that's good, because you're going to have me. You're just going to have me in a much nicer setting. How's that? you got to admit this yacht is <laughs> quite a bit nicer than that boathouse we used to sneak off to. You know what? I wouldn't mind if we were in a, in a leaky raft. Because what, what we have, no amount of money in the world can buy this.
I have no idea what happened to Alex. She left Ryan's party without me and didn't come home. I haven't heard from her since. Well, maybe she's been trying to reach you, Dimitri, while you've been here ransacking her office. All of my calls are being forwarded to my cell phone. Now, I came here in hopes that she might have been called in for an emergency. No one at the nurse's station has heard from her. Then she's obviously not here. Did she say anything to you? <laughs> I'm not exactly her confidant, Dimitri. Hayward, I don't know what has happened to my wife. That's why I came here, to check her phone messages, to see if there was some memo she left, some indication of where she is. Did you try the police? Derek is aware of the situation. Okay. Well, then, did you and Alex have an argument last night on the yacht? No. Why? <laughs> but you know Alex. Every time she gets her feelings hurt, she jumps on a plane and flies back to musty old England. I checked the flights. All right, look. I hate to suggest this, okay? But maybe Alex's cloak and dagger pass caught up with oh, her. Oh, hey, well, don't, don't you be coy with me. My wife is missing. All right, look, I didn't... I don't know if this is important or not. I certainly didn't think much of it last night. But I saw Alex on the deck with a man, okay? They seem to know each other. Last I saw them, they were making their way towards the launch. I, I can't be sure if they left together or not. What did he look like? I don't know. I don't know. His, his back was to me, did, okay? did, and I didn't see. Did you hear anything? No, Dimitri, I didn't. I'm sorry. No, the, don't, don't be sorry. This is the first news that I've had about Alex. Now, if you think of anything else, get in touch with me, all right? Absolutely. What did you do to her? What are you talking about? Come on. Everybody says that you and Dr. Merrick couldn't stand each other. Well, hospital gossip must get pretty stale by the time it makes its way to your lab, huh, Gordon? Dr. Merrick and I have been working quite comfortably for months now. Right, until last night. Maybe she caught you slipping libidazone into those people's drinks? She threatened you with, with exposure, and you silenced her. Well, you have quite an imagination there, Gordon. Unfortunately, it's not a particularly useful trait as a lab technician. The truth is this. I didn't even see Dr. Merrick at the party last night. Really? But you just told her husband that you saw her talking to someone on... I had more important things going on in my mind, okay? I wanted the man out of my office. Oh, please, I'm smarter than that. All right, okay. All right, look. Believe what you want, all right? But the truth is this. Dr. Merrick had more enemies than you could ever imagine. I would rank pretty low on the totem pole of suspects. Yeah, you know, you're, you're laying the bricks for your own prison cell, Dr. Hayward. <gasps> what are you blabbering about? In, in 12 hours or so, when the police begin looking into Dr. Merrick's disappearance, the first thing that they're going to do is tear that yacht apart, okay? And by this time tomorrow, they're going to know that there was so much lipidazone on that boat, it could have raised the Titanic. Oh, that's a very creative metaphor, Gordon. But that's not going to happen if you alter the blood results. Wrong! Whatever you poured the drug into, the glasses that those that those people drank from, it's all going to carry traces. Libido's own leaves a residue that even a police chemist well, can I'm way find. ahead of you, Gordon. That's why I made sure that the catering staff washed all those glasses squeaky clean. They're probably sitting in a box in a warehouse right now. And as for the punch bowl, unless it has gills and fins, it's not going to make its way up to the surface from the deep blue. Trust me. What about the people that came into the ER? It's obvious that Dr. Martin believes that there was food poisoning. Let's leave it that way. We'll insist that they analyze the food on the menu. Don't say we, please, okay? Because I don't want anything more to do with no, this. No, 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 Gordon. It's too late for that. Now, I suggest that you get to your workstation and you start pressing the delete button on these results. And if I refuse? I can press delete also, Gordon. Don't forget that. Now, it says, the first winter in Massachusetts took all the pilgrims by surprise. No one could them. Edmund, you're here. Good. Don't let me interrupt your story. I think they'd rather hear about Turkey. Where have you been? Walking. Thinking. Are you all right? Yes. Could I get a couple of minutes with the kids? Yes, of course. Here. Thank you. Won't take long. Yes. Hi, guys. Hi. How's everybody? I have missed you so much. 
Yes, I have. Yes, I have. I have missed you so much. You know, Daddy's been a little, um, crazy with work and, uh, and other things. But I want you to know that I love you and I miss you. So, this is what I'm gonna do. Why don't we take a plane somewhere to an island and we can go to the beach and we can play and make sand castles and we can play in the water. Just the four of us. How does that sound? I only count three of you, Edmund. Who else are you planning to take on this vacation? joining us for dinner or what? She's not sick, is she? No, she's look, not Look, look, we can uh, try to discuss Jillian later on. Right now, we've got some work to be done. Could you take care of the candles and light them and all oh, that? Yeah. Dad, the fireplace. Dad, you know? Dad, please, please, all right? There's, there's no sense in running from this. I want Tad and Dixie and, and, and Mom. I want everybody to know what's going on here. Know what? What is it? What has happened? Last night, at the party, when we were there, Jillian and I split up. I don't believe oh, this. Hey, oh, I'm so sorry. What the hell is wrong with that woman? Oh, Tad, don't even start. No, I'm, I don't so, hear I'm sorry, okay? Two days ago, she was going on about how much she loves you. Has she got schizo or something? Oh, come I on, mean... Tad, give him a chance to explain. Tad, I, I know. I, I think that Jillian still loves me, all right? But, but sometimes that just isn't enough. And I'm the one who walked out. I don't believe it. If it was your decision, you wouldn't have that look on your face. She must have done something. Why don't you just take it down a few notches? It's all right, it's all right. You know, I've been fooling myself with Jillian, okay? And I just couldn't go on doing it anymore. And it just it wasn't fair to either one of us. I'm sorry, are you sure? Yes, Dix, I'm sure. I just, there, there was so much stuff going on on the boat last night. You know, perhaps it was just a misunderstanding. I'm afraid that it wasn't. They couldn't have made it any more clear if they tattooed it on my forehead. They. I should have known it. Ryan Lavery's involved in this. Mark my words. Honey, I'm not surprised he's been sniffing around Jillian ever since yeah. they got married. Oh, stop on. You know what? You know, everybody, I've said all I'm going to say on this subject. It's a family holiday, all right? I've got guests coming out here, and I'm, I'm going to go upstairs and I'm going to get myself presentable, okay? for me. I guess it took me walking in and seeing you in bed with him. It just, it just hit me. I just, I just, I don't know. I just, I just kind of went crazy and I, and I just knew this is, this is wrong. You and I belong together. I'm so sorry that you had to see us like that. No, it's all right. So I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to think about it because you and I are together finally and that's really the only thing that I care about. Mm. You know what? It's gonna make some story to tell our grandkids one day. How you swung into the room to save me like a pirate captain. Yeah, I guess that was kind of bold, huh? A little bold. Keeping in mood with the party. Yeah, you know, in Europe we always had the craziest parties on ships. Well, now that the craziness is over and we're lying here awake, do you have any regrets? Mm, only that I didn't break it to Jake weeks ago. So how do you want to handle this? Mm, well, I guess I, I first have to go over to the Martins to get all my things. Okay. Well, I'll go with you, just, you know, for support in case... You know what? I, I, I didn't think anybody else was here. Mr. Lavery, sorry, just dropping off the bill. Oh, I thought you guys left hours ago. Well, it took us a little longer than we expected to get it all cleaned up. Yeah, right. Um, sorry about that. I kind of got a little crazy last night. Um, yeah. Listen, I'm, I'm a little bit out of it this morning, so do you mind if I just oh. take care of this with you when I get back to the office? That's, That's cool. fine. That's fine. Yeah? All right. Just so you know, there is an extra charge on there for a missing punch ball. Oh. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm sure it's around here someplace. Uh, no. We, we looked. It's gone. Oh, okay. Well, thank you. You did a great job. Bye-bye.
Why would anybody want to take a punch bowl? It's not worth anything. You know what? Who cares? I'm not going to waste any time worrying about a stupid punch bowl. Especially when I have you in my bed. <laughs>